welcome to today. Good morning guys and welcome to today just like Sophia said. Uh, today where I have no horse, but that's okay. Let's do it you guys. Let's do it. It's the first day of school. Everybody's cool on the first day of school. Ooh. Are you cool on the first day of school? It's cold out so <laughs> It's cold out. <gasps> oh man. It's a gorgeous fall day and if you're thinking that somebody is missing, you're right, Gabby. Gabby is missing. <laughs> I woke them all up this morning and she was like, whoa, what? <laughs> What's happening here? Oh, school happens. School time. I'm excited. Are we already halfway awake? We're already awake? Yeah. My alarm went off at You, minutes. Sophia does these weird nocturnal things that I don't even ever, ever understand. She wakes up in the middle of the night and I hear her go to the bathroom and then I hear her go back to bed. But then sometimes she does crazy things in her room. I don't know what she's doing. She, I hear crashing and banging. Like she walks in her sleep just like I did. Last night was crazy for you. I don't know what you were doing. I was too tired to get up and say, Sophia, go to bed. I was going to the bathroom. And then what did you do? Grabbed a blanket after, cause I was cold. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what you were doing. So what Sophie's got on one of her bench shirts. Because I don't, I only had one blanket. Cause that's all you ever, ever ask for. But I had two blankets. So I got a new blanket. <laughs> well, good job, Sophie. It's cold. I'm not gonna lie, it's quiet in the barn. It's lonely in the barn. It's a peaceful place, you guys. My cat. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hope you guys had a good night. Is that where you sleep? I'm gonna have to make them a really nice, fun bed. Up there? Yeah, and I'm also gonna try and get our oh, cat neutered before six months because I'm telling you, I do not want any babies. We do not want any babies. But wait, do cats go? I mean, we've had cats, we've had babies, we've had it done it all, but do cats go in heat in the winter, in the cold, or do they start again in spring? There's a, there's a cat season. There's a kitten season and it's spring. Hmm, I'll Did have to look that them? up. Yeah, she's like, give me my food. Stop being so talkative. There you go. I'm sorry you guys have no friends. Oh my gosh, Gracie, what the heck? This is dangerous. Sam had this all tucked away. Oh my goodness. That was not cool. It might not have been them. Oh, it was them. It was probably them. Yeah, no, it wasn't the kittens, I don't think. It's heavy. Look. Oh. <laughs> trouble one and trouble two. Look at how much bigger he's getting than her. He's bigger. Hello, it's okay. They're getting a little bit more like nervous and I think it's maybe because they've been hanging out with the horses a lot. Oh, he's still a kissy boy. Yes, he is. He's heavy. It's weird. I look at him in, in real life and he just looks like this little boy and then I look at him through the camera and he looks huge. Like it's so drastically different. Hold him. Okay. And then. He's such a cuddle bug. Do you know how heavy he is? Yeah. And then hold her. Oh yeah. Oh, she's still heavy too. You're heavy. He's a lot heavier. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay, Lexi. She's got her mouser instincts on. She's like, let me go. I have to catch the mice. That, we heard a different kitten. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Meowing. That's odd. That's a pretty sight. Imagine there could be yeah. one, two, three horses, but that didn't happen. And that's okay. Can you open the door for me? Yeah, I'll open the doors for you. Who wants to bet Gabby will show up at the very last second and be like, hi. <laughs> anyway, good morning guys. Welcome to today, the first day of school on the day by day farm. I don't know about you guys, but I love the change of season. I love the, the newness every few months. Hold on there, Missy. I always separate their hay into like a lot of piles and they only get a little. So there's one. You're not having that. Two. I should maybe get a little bit more. This is not enough for breakfast. I love the newness of all the different seasons and the changes. Like I kind of live someplace where it's just one season all year round. For me, fall is, fall's my favorite season, but for me, fall is a season of rest and relaxation, even though Christmas happens. Fall to me is when you get your pajamas on and your big warm puffy clothes and you settle in for a long winter season and you, you get you rest more like you do and it's dark when you wake up and it's just cozy like dark and winter and fall is cozy to me and then summer is a time of like 
doing stuff and you know you don't sleep at all during the summer who remembers the fence that we used to have here <laughs> well we don't have it anymore it's gone God always has a plan I believe it I know it everything always works out the way it's meant to good or bad right Gracie girl Gracie made friends with that horse though like Gracie like she was on top of Gracie but she wasn't mean like she wanted a friend so she was kind to Gracie she wasn't kind to Gracie. She made Gracie be listen to her, but she didn't have to like obey her every single second like Willow makes Gracie do. <laughs> Poor Gracie. They were actually pretty good together. That was the only real positive thing that happened with our 24 hour trial period of the horse. All right, let's go. Dad used to do things by himself. I know. Because he doesn't even care if we come down. I know. Because it's so easy. I know. You just so what are you trying to say I'm trying to say I suck because I make you help no you're the best oh thanks Sophie I love you in that shirt it's warm it's good for you to come down even though you didn't do anything I did it all I played with the kittens and gave them food and water yeah, good job, Sophie. Our barn is a little messy. I have to come down later, do all this cleaning. I, can you go turn out the lights, please? It's weird enough to see the horses out there. I wake up every morning and I look out to check on them every single morning still. Makes me nervous. Like, we didn't get to see them yesterday, but we're treating Storm Split. And can you believe Kaylee and her dad went over and took care of Storm two times yesterday? Two times they went over and took care of him for us. Like, that's so kind. Anyways. I have so much to do like we've been running for days it feels like this barn needs cleaning I have my water stuff here we have to scrub it all out like we have a lot of stuff to take care of the house is a mess but we have school before we can do any of it we have school and I'm excited I am cleaning off this disgusting mess of a computer table that the girls use to get ready for school and I have found this it just happened to be laying right in front of me almost fell right into my hands and it says, when God closes a door, he always opens a window. So, you guys, you never know. You never know oh, so now what you God has planned. No, we don't have to open the window, but I'm hot. Let's open the window. Yeah. All right, do it. So, I'm going to hang it right here on my fridge as a reminder. I also found this. It is a card for a balanced ride equine Reiki. Uh, Gabby won this at the beginning of the season. And I'm going to call her and ask her to do Chino. So I'm going to save this out and do that today. So this is what school looks like for us. Gabby is over there preparing her journal. Sophie made her journal before school started. I shared that in a video. So Gabby's getting her journal ready because we use journals every single day in homeschool or most days. Um, we do like a daily devotional and then we do a uh, reading book. So I'm going to try reading this book. Um, it might be a little below Gabby's level but she likes this kind of a story so we're gonna see we're gonna read it together and then they both do independent reading every single night before they go to bed and molly thinks that it is not school time she's like you're all just sitting around doing nothing you might as well throw this for me this is, this, this is the story of a border collie's life can't imagine what would happen if we weren't home all day to throw her a toy are you gonna let me throw it okay come here let me have it drop it drop it Thank you. Thank you, good girl. We're going to get started with school and we will catch up back with you probably in about a half an hour when we feed our baby chick again. We've been feeding him. I think he's blind in one eye for sure. Maybe a little bit blind in the other eye. I'm being I'm being attacked. Like, you cannot sit on the couch at the day by day house if you throw once for without her, being attacked. If you throw her toy once for her, she never stops coming to you. Yeah. See? never stops okay we are still only part way through school every hour or so we've been feeding this little guy i just want to show you guys an update i think he can see out of one eye not that eye uh but we feed him like a little bit of a mash and he really His understands how to a bit do harder it. than you've been feeding him yeah so he's he, doing good with he it. gets better and better every day and i don't know if he's like I feel like he can see a little bit better each day. Yeah. We've been putting um, medicine on his eyes. The bulged out eye doesn't seem to get much better. 
but the other eye that wasn't too bad seems like when I put him in his pen he ran straight to his mom and I just had my finger in front of his face and he pecked me so I don't know if I don't know I don't know if he just has limited vision or if he has no vision but he seems to be doing well he had bigger pieces. yeah he seems to be loving his food today anyways we're gonna see what's gonna happen you guys know us I could never call a baby chick and we're not pulling his head off. Yeah. I posted on a chicken forum a picture of him and someone said, just pull his neck, just pull its head off. And so he was so offended. We're like, yeah, no, that's not us. And then somebody else suggested that we just whack its head, its neck against a pail. And I'm like, yeah, nope, that's not me either. Like, I'll good. feed him. I'll feed him. I'll care for him. I'll do what he needs. If he makes it, he makes it. If he doesn't, then that's God's will. But it's, I, mm, no, maybe I shouldn't be a farmer. But I, that. Yeah, no, that's not for me. I just wanted to share a few seconds of homeschool with you guys so that you guys can see all the joy that is in my life. All the joy, you guys. So let me explain. Here is Sophie's list of 300 sixth grade spelling words. She's got three pages of them. There's 300 words. She's in sixth grade. And I'm going to do one whole page today, one whole page tomorrow, one whole page the next day. And then I'm done spelling. Okay, so basically, I let them pick their own words that they do each day. So each week, they'll learn five words. And I just said, highlight the ones that you're doing. She'll write them. You didn't put the date, Sophie. <laughs> put the date after. So, no, put it first so you don't forget. So, the date? I always so she has to write the word five times each. And each day she'll write the definition of one word. So she has, they both have a dictionary. We have a few different kinds of dictionaries. I love this dictionary because it has a whale. Yeah, why wouldn't you love it if it has a whale? And it has a pig in it. And yeah. a horse. It's a children's dictionary. And a bee. Okay, so let's move on. So, so super easy, right? You write the words and then you pick a word, find the definition and write it. That's what a normal child would do. That's what you would normally think that a child would do. That's what I told them to do. What does Gabby do? <laughs> Gabby's like, what? What did I do? What does Gabby do? She looks up the definitions of the words to see which one has the least long definition to copy. And that's the one she chooses to do the definition of for today. <laughs> <laughs> it's called high IQ. <laughs> it's called a good idea. I call it lazy. And you know what Sophie does? She looks through every single 300 words to find the smallest <laughs> words. The only problem is, is that eventually you are going to have to no, do I'll them all. No, I'm going to erase that and pretend I just Oh my god, it. I'm erase the work. I'm going to ask for help. <laughs> That did happen. That's right from yesterday. <laughs> Erases it. You could clearly see what was there before. That, that did happen. You can do it. Your and father comes home. Your help. mother says, and then dad says that I should have erased it better. <laughs> okay. I'm just telling you the story. You guys might remember. I might have told you this last year. Or maybe I didn't I, tell you. I didn't like the work you were making me do. <laughs> so, Sophie had to do a, a page in one of her notebooks. It was... You know, I don't know even what it was, but she worked. She did the whole worksheet. She got it right. She found it easy. It was not that big of a deal. So then the next day, she was supposed to go on to the next page, and she didn't like that page. She didn't understand that page. So she brings me. She works on it all, like, the time she has to work on this work page, and she brings it to me, and I'm looking at it, and it's all right, and it's all done. She did it really well, and then I'm looking farther and farther, and it looks oh, like... Yeah. Ask for help. Oh yeah, she actually had to ask me for help on something. On how to do it. She came over and she's like, I need help with this. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking like, it kind of looks like the same page from yesterday and all the answers were erased. She decided all on her own that she would just redo the page that she did yesterday because it was easier and more fun and she enjoyed that one. So she erased the work that she did the day before and tried to pull it off and, and I caught it because she erased it so badly. And I'm like mad at her. And I'm like, Sophie, you can't do that. And then dad comes home. And what does dad say? You should have erased it better. <laughs> so yeah, she gets that from her dad. Gabby works like me. She's more serious. She just does it. She tries to get it done. She does her best. Sophie works so hard at doing the least amount possible ever. <laughs> she works harder than me. 
Yeah, she does. She has to, she struggles more than Gabby, so she I does remember. work harder. Mm -hmm. So, um, you guys remember that Gabby, Sophie did her journal. Oh, Sophie did her journal the other day, and this is Gabby's, and she, and she painted the... Like, the, 16 weeks ago. Yeah, it looks really cute. I love it. It's like, is it iridescent? Is that what that's called? No, Super holographic. Holographic? Super cool. Okay, so we are headed out because we have a bunch of running around to do and all animal related. Everything that we do right now is animal related, you guys. So before we go though, I want to talk about our giveaway. Our giveaway, because we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers. I was hoping it wouldn't be, I wanted to have a video ready for when we hit 100,000 subscribers, but yeah, that's not gonna happen because of all the time I had to waste this weekend. I don't care, that's okay, I'm glad I wasted the time, but. So I'm gonna be a little bit late. I'll have a video up tonight. I'm gonna to hit it today. We're gonna to hit it today. Hopefully, like we have like 27 more people or something. So yeah, stop subscribing. Give me a few minutes. Hi. <laughs> she keeps looking at me. Hi. Anyways, so we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping. Then we're gonna go and check on the on the boys. But I wanted to just tell you guys about the giveaway. Stay tuned. Um, I know we're at 100,000 subscribers. Stop picking my head. I'm not touching you. This is something that happened new in the car yesterday. They got bored and started poking me while I was driving. I okay. poked you with the whip. So, luckily for us and for you guys, there are some companies that want to share in our success, our 100,000 subscribers, and they want to give away some things too. So, we are waiting for a few things to come through the mail because... Um, with COVID and all that kind of stuff and not as many people, I don't know, it's just taking forever for things to arrive. Things are starting to arrive though. Plus there are a few things that we are gonna give away. One, we're still in the process of preparing, if that makes sense, but yeah. So it's all coming, it'll happen, it'll happen in September. <laughs> That's my only That's my only thing I can promise. It'll happen before the end of September. We're gonna have a giveaway and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we got going on. So that's why I just want you guys to know about the giveaway. And so let's go shopping. First stop uh, is getting my mask on. Somebody made this mask for me, isn't it gorgeous? First stop, grain. I eat grain, but now I only buy grain for the ponies and that sucks. Like, I feel like, I feel lost, you guys, with the boys gone. I feel lost. It's crazy. I got in there and I got talking to the ladies, and the other lady came and loaded up all of our grain. Did she load it up? Yeah. Aw. <laughs> what did you guys do? Just sit there? Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I got great kids there, you guys. Awesome kids. <laughs> Anyways, I also, not only did I buy grain for our girls, probably enough to last them Get forever. Rival stars. Yeah, Sophie's in love with Rival Stars video game. Uh, I also was able to make an appointment for Ruby to get her hair cut because she needs it done. And I like to do it like, so it'll be the end of September, oh October. My God, yeah, done. like I like to get her done before Christmas. She might need it again, a touch up before Christmas, but yeah. All right, so that was shopping number one, and now we'll go to shopping number two, which is chicken food. We need baby chicken food. We didn't get it before because we didn't know if that baby was gonna live or if there would even be any other babies. Now we have two. Looks like they're both gonna live, so we, hopefully, knock on wood. So we're gonna go get some food for baby chickens. So I'm in the store. Sophie pays for her glue. She buys glue. Look, I mean, what what year do you think you're born in when you your kids spend their money on glue? She says, I'm going to the car. She leaves the store. Five minutes later, I come out. <laughs> She's standing at the door. And she says, I don't know where our car is. <laughs> what is it? I parked it around the corner, remember? Easiest parking no, I spot. I she was driving away with her car. <laughs> she was in our van. <gasps> That's the only kind of hairspray they had. So I decided to stop at the drugstore. Four out of five. So yeah. is that good? Strengthness. Oh. Um, I got this for Jack. I'm super excited about it. I used to have one um, for my kids. This is a dinosaur one. It's uh, Melissa and Doug water on the go. You fill this little paintbrush with water and then you paint the pictures and then it goes away. Okay, so you paint it with the water. The water changes the color of the dinosaur and then when you walk away and it dries, then it goes back to normal color. And then, so I got them dinosaurs and then you can like search and find all these things inside the picture and I don't know it's just fun for his age he's coming this week to spend some time with Nana so I wanted to get him something like that see there's an example of it 
and then when it dries you can just keep repeating and color this um, this little book over and over and over and the biggest find of all is that I got these Noah sugar added candies because Sophie and I are trying not to eat sugar and it's hard for her because she's almost 11 she's young it's hard for Sophie because she's young and every time like we go someplace especially with other girls they're always eating stuff just like enjoying their life munching away and Sophie's like trying not to eat sugar so I said I'll buy some candies that we can keep so that if other people are eating junk then she can eat some junk too so at this store they make everybody have a cart so I have my I have mine Gabby and Sophie have theirs I don't know what they were thinking my kids use carts as weapons so because we so because Sophie and I are not eating sugar, Gabby's starving for sugar. She's like, I need sugar, but I'm sorry, Gabby, we're not having sugar in the house because it makes it unfair. Okay, well I'm getting hot chocolate. All right, Gabby wants cranberry. That's cran raspberry. You want just plain cranberry? No. Cranberry cocktail. Oh. All right, grab Original it. Original cranberry cocktail. Gabby's changing right before our eyes. She's becoming an adult. Hey, <laughs> groceries, check. I'm gonna just tell you one thing that happened in the grocery store. So apparently I said that, that my kids use carts as weapons. Well, Gabby ran into Sophie's ankles with the cart. Cause she wasn't moving fast enough and I was running. Well, you don't run with carts, Gabby. Yeah, you do. No, you think you would learn this in grade two. Oh yeah, you're homeschooled. Whose responsibility is that? <laughs> hey, I. I went to school up until grade three, yeah, four. Oh yeah, you started homeschooling. Okay, so anyways, poor Sophie got rammed in the back of her heel. How is it? That one has a bump. A bump? Oh. So A bump. Do you want to see what so, I got from my pressure washer? Oh yeah. <laughs> Gabby was pressure washering all of our saddle pads the other day. She ripped her foot open. <laughs> Don't yeah. know how. I don't know how that could happen, but it did. So Sophie's like whining to me. She ran over my ankle, and I'm like, okay, well, like Gabby behave, and Sophie suck it up. Like stuff happens. So then Sophie waits for me to go ahead of her, and I'm thinking, like, what are the chances? <laughs> She's gonna run over my heels, and so I go ahead of her. Not three steps later, she <laughs> smashes into my heels. Yeah, I did She didn't even say sorry. Sophie said sorry. Gabby, did you say sorry? <laughs> no. Say sorry right now. No. Gabby. My ankle still hurts. Say sorry. Oh my god, my foot hurts. Oh my god. Gabby, you did that to yourself. Hey, it's payback for all the time she stepped on my heels. <laughs> I never step on your heels. <laughs> How often does she step on your heels? <laughs> oh my god. No, Gabby she will. She actually does step on my heels. She stepped on my van. Gabby will I say sorry when it. I turn off the camera, but sometimes it's hard in front of like a whole bunch of people to be vulnerable and say you're sorry. But anyway, yeah. So basically, the story is that if you live near us and you see us in public, please don't get out your phone and video us so that you can plaster it all over the internet because we. We struggle. <laughs> we have such a struggle. <laughs> True love is coming to see your horses in the rain. We have to come every single day to treat Storm's injury, his his injuries. Um, yeah, so so we are here and it's raining and they're putting gravel in all the mud like he said he was gonna do. We just showed up at the wrong time. They removed the poop. My horses don't come. Oh, our horses I'm are gonna come. I'm not going to catch my horse. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. Well, Storm freaking got the shelter, the shelter all to himself. Horses are wet. Now would be a good time to get them rain sheets. You guys see, they're still on their own. They're, they're like, we will never make friends here. They're on, they're on strike. They want to go home. I didn't show you guys, but last week Storm went running off through the trees. It looks really bad. It's not that bad, you guys. It's just like a slit, a slight line all over his body that's just hair missing <laughs> over there yeah so it's just like little lines anyways um, um the owner the here ones? yeah this these were the worst one? i have so you just wait before you spray it see that's what it looks like now like he got it looks a lot better 
Yeah, and anyway, the owner lent us his blue, oh let's show boy. it. boy. Blue, blue coat. coat. And we're gonna go buy some right now. Don't panic, it looks way worse on the camera than it does in real life. It turns, um, blue. And he's also I mean, helping us with the, the cut on his leg. We're doing something completely different. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna use later after it works so I can make sure. But he says he's not even worried about it. He thinks it's gonna work. But it's just weird how in the past we've had so many people like offer us advice that have been, has been crazy at places we've been. And then at this barn, it's just, I can't tell you guys how, like I don't ever wanna board our horses again. It's just so stressful, especially when, I don't know, it's just hard. But if you're ever gonna board your horse, this is the kind of place you wanna be. It's the most kind, like I, I love the people here. Like they speak, like they're just unbelievable. They're just so kind. We like to just come and bring them out of the field, give them some treats, give them a brush, clean their hoof boots. Just make them, this guy's the one that's the most cautious. ever wears the proper things to schooling shows. Yeah. They all wear like colored saddle Yeah. Out Take them out of the rain, give them some treats. So Kaylee came yesterday and treated Storm's cut and it was really funny. She said that she came to the gate and they were out there and they knew exactly who she was and they went walking up to her. Like they all three of them just walked right to the gate, walked right to her and um, they looked at her and they looked at the door and they looked at her and they looked at the door and they were looking for us. Like they know that we Kaylee doesn't just come on her own. That she comes with us. I bet like, you, don't, you don't know about a cut that I know about on Finn. Okay, show me the cut. Counting all the cuts, you guys. Right there. Ooh. Finn's always the best of them, though. He always handles it because he's so used to it. Don't bug him. Don't bug him. Yeah, don't I'm bug him. I'm to bug him. I'm his mom. Okay, so let's remember he's that. He's older than me. Let's remember that. No, I'm. It only counts for horses, though. <laughs> and yeah. animals. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm allowed to bug my, my boy. Oh, I know, and I'm allowed to bug all my creations. No. We gave them some treats. Can now we're see him? He's saying goodbye. I guess he'll be saying the shelter is so deep, but only Storm gets to use it, which is such a sad thing. Only Storm can fit. It can fit like seven horses. Seven horses, but only Storm. Look at all these guys over there. Like, they're like, pick me too. I actually like this. Like, like that the horses can socialize. With those guys, at least. Finny's just looking around. Yeah. Be strong, run. guys. It's gonna get better. I promise. So see how they? This is where they dump their manure, which is a great spot. It's nice and close to the barn. That's what he had it all removed. This was all filled with manure, and he had it all removed. Today he's been dumping gravel, but uh, it got so muddy from the rain that they had to call it quits. That's Look at that big, huge mark on his hip. Gotta be spraying the purple he's stuff. Branded. Branded now. Right, see you guys later. We'll be back to see you tomorrow. I don't know. Storm looks. Storm looks like he's gonna die in the rain if it starts raining again. I don't know. I, my heart hurts. Oh, they're sheep. That's what they were all looking at. Oh, sheep. Where are they? They're right there. I can't see one. I can't see it. Oh. Look in between the trees. Uh oh, Gabby's going to get the sheep, you guys. Don't scare the horses. Finn's gonna come running. Uh oh. Don't get she him can't... running. Oh, I see a sheep. You? I see the sheep. I see them. Don't chase sheep, Finn. Standing in the trees there, trying to stay dry. They all stand behind Storm. <gasps> That's the cutest thing. Storm's like, I'm kind She knows like this big, huge man. Uh-oh, Storm's going to help Gabby. Don't run, Stormy, you gotta heal up. Okay, Gabby, come on back. Gabby's in there terrorizing the sheep. She just wants food. Storm is gonna go to her. They were coming. Even oh. amidst, amidst all this stuff that's going on, like new horses, new everything, they still wanna do stuff with us. They still miss us, they still, want to spend time with us it's just incredible don't you know that you're beautiful